Welcome back, everybody. And Matt says that this is the last bit of sunshine we're getting before it turns not so great. Yeah, you know, a little bit dreary through the middle of the week, okay. but it's going to get really warm. Oh, so, okay. you know, it's kind of a trade-off here. Some late yeah. season warmth, but it does come with a little bit of wet weather. Jump outside right now, though, where it is nice and sunny on our neighborhood network here in Philly, getting a lovely view of our skyline on this fair Monday afternoon. Temperatures are already on the rise. It is going to be a great day today. A little bit of fair weather cumulus out there, but that's the only thing that's going to hinder just perfect sunshine that we'll have throughout the afternoon. Temperatures, like I said, they're on the rise. We're up into the 60s basically everywhere. We're seeing 65, Allentown 63 as we move through the lunchtime hour in Reading 65, also in Trenton, Millville, and back down towards the shore in Wildwood, clinging on to some mid 50s up towards the Poconos with those higher elevations. Usually temperatures tend to hover a little bit lower, and that's exactly what we're seeing. We're also starting to watch for our winds to shift. We started the day out more of a kind of west northwesterly flow, but we're now getting more of a northerly direction, and we're going to continue to see this shift as we go through the rest of the day, and we'll get more of a northeasterly before an easterly wind takes over tonight, bringing with it a little bit of extra cloud cover and maybe even the chance for a couple of sprinkles here and there. So later this afternoon, Comfortable conditions nonetheless, 67 degrees for our afternoon high. Looking really good there. Again, 5 to 10 mile an hour wind out of the east northeast here in the city. Could get a little bit breezier as you get down towards the coastline, but overall, really not looking at a bad start to the work week. Storm scan three, we're generally clear. High pressure kind of in control. It centered itself over the Ohio River Valley at this point, so it's holding our cloud cover off to the north and east, and then it's also holding our next system at bay out to the west too. But this high is going to eventually kind of slide away as we go through the overnight hours tonight and as it moves off to the north, that easterly wind really starts to take over with that clockwise rotation around the high, bringing in clouds for us tonight and into tomorrow. Future weather for us the rest of the afternoon. Again, just maybe a couple of high clouds here and there. Not a whole lot much more than that going on through the overnight tonight. Here comes our increasing cloud cover. A couple of stray sprinkles thrown into the mix. And even tomorrow in the afternoon, you see on future weather by 5 o'clock tomorrow. Again, mix of sun and clouds for us. Hit and miss body shower chances at best. Not everybody gets in on the rain showers tomorrow, but there'll be a slightly better chance on Tuesday compared to what we have here today. Then our pattern really shifts as we get into the middle of the week. We're going to watch as an area of low pressure. A pretty strong low comes out of the Gulf. It has a ton of moisture associated with it. So while Wednesday looks like it's also going to be kind of that hit and miss shower chance with a mix of sun and clouds through the afternoon, Thursday for Halloween is going to be our bullseye day for the heaviest rain to come this week. Really looks like you're going to be putting the raincoat over top of the costumes if you're doing that trick or treating on Thursday evening. But we're also going to see our temperatures be the warmest here on Wednesday and Thursday because we're in what's called the warm sector. The area in between the warm front and the cold front, we get strong south southwesterly flow, brings in warmer air. So temperatures for the middle of the week could be up into the 70s before that front clears us as we get towards the end of the week. So maybe some showers on Friday morning, but then a lot like this past Sunday will be clearing out pretty nicely on Friday afternoon, though it does get very windy. We're projecting maybe the chance for some wind gusts that could be as high as 50 or more miles an hour. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Here is that midweek warm up though. Wednesday and Thursday, 70 and 72 degrees, well above that average high of 62. 67 here today and a 66 tomorrow. Very seasonable, pretty comfortable for us, even with those couple of spotty showers on Tuesday afternoon. Again, hit and miss showers, but up to 70 degrees on Wednesday. Wash out material on Thursday, Friday. We get a morning shower and then it clears out and change. Check out the weekend. Does that not scream fall sunshine <laughs> and 50s Saturday and Sunday going to be gorgeous for the Eagles game Sunday afternoon. Gorgeous and getting cool. Certainly football yeah, weather. Looking Definitely. forward to it. Thank All you, right, Matt. Thank you.